What's up? It's Christian from Vision 6D and we are continuing Live the Life of a Project Manager with the budget. And in this part, we are going to look at how I manage to extend the budget at the department level. It's part two of the solution for the budget. Behind me, I have the planning of the project in the Gantt view. Resources were allocated, so I'm going now to the resource sheet and where we see all those resources that we have on this project. What I would like now is to be able to see the a distribution of the resources per department. For this, I prepared the document that is available on our website, vision6d.com, in the download part, so slash download. You can also find the MS project file to start this video. So I have prepared there a table in which I say, for example, here, the members of the finance department are the stakeholder one, accountant one, accountant two. For the marketing department, you have chief marketing officer, CMO, which is the stakeholder two, marketing assistant, user one and user three. So what I want to see is per department, the users. To be able to group by department the resources, what I will do is to simply insert here a department under the name of the group. Finance for stakeholder one. And then I will have to follow with the accountants. Stakeholder two is the CMO from the marketing. User one and user three are also part of marketing. So I think you, you understand the, the way to complete this. I'll join you once I've done it completely. With this, I have now set in different department all our relevant resources. Now I will see what happens if I go back to the resource usage. And I will request now from resources. I will now go into view. And here I have several possibilities to, to filter. And I will group by resources. And here we see the different groups we, we have. So I will shorten this and open them after. And you already see that we can find now our group finance here, the group IT below, and the group marketing as well, and the group sales. And you see that we have now that total number of our per department. And what I didn't assign at all is still standing in the group with no value. I want to have the costs that appear. So for this, I go into an addition of a column and I will go down and look for the column of the costs here. And you see immediately that since we had the value rate per hour for each resource, there is a computation of the number of hour for each coworker and we have the total per department now that appeared here. I will now open the IT group that you can see the, the details. And you see effectively here all the developers which are not used as the resources in this project. You see below the integrator with the different tasks that person is going to perform for the project with the number of hours for each uh, task and the equivalent cost computed with the, our rate for the integrator. And we see here a total 
number of hours and equivalent cost for that integrator. We have the same for integrator 2 here below and you will notice that the total number of hours of the group IT are the total number of hours that IT people will be involved into the project. And here it's the equivalent cost of those resources. So now we can look at other groups that we have here. You can see and go through and have all the details for each group. This is a functionality that is interesting because like that you can really discuss with the department managers and let them know how many hours you are going to need their people. So we, we see that uh, we have the distribution among the, the departments. So what is also interesting for us is to see what we can do directly on the, on the budget. So for this, I will go back into the resource sheet here. And as you remember, we have those budget resources for work and for everything. So what I will do uh, here below, it's to add also a group, which is the group budget. Like that, we group also the resources that we use only for the budget. If now I go to the resource usage, we see that we have now a group budget that is here. I want to refine this a bit more and for that I will add new resources. As we had here budget software, material and services and simply a budget work, I'm going to add a budget department finance, budget department sales, I leave those resources as being of type work and now what I will also do is to have them all being part of the group budget. Let's go and see what happens with the resource usage. We have our grouping you see here and all of a sudden we have budget department sales department support, department IT, but we must pay attention to one thing. It's that those resources you see, they appear here under work and costs and not under budget. For this, we need now to go to the Gantt chart and as we, we do, all the budget resources are allocated to a single task, which is the summary task here, the CRM. So I have to open it, go into information, and I will add those different uh, budget for departments. Okay, I got the mistake. I forgot that I have first now to make those resources being budget resources and for that of course I have to open each of them. I will enlarge it a bit here and to make sure that they are just budget resources. And now I can go to the task, the Gantt chart and here I will assign my resources. Now it worked. We see that nothing has changed. We always have here a total of 1500 hours budget. 
and I will go into resources and look at the resource usage. And we see now that it has moved for all those four resources to the column budget work. So now to fill in the information about the different departments in the budget work, I have to undo the selection. So for that, I will need to go into view here and to remove the filter, no groups. And for this now, I need to go down to my budget resources here and there is no other way than to fill it by hand. So budget for department finance here, you see on the CRM one will be those 150 hours. And I will complete with the other values. So now I have completed all the values. Let's go back to the Gantt chart and see what happens. Here you see that the CRM budgeted hours has really climbed because we came and added those one. We must remove the preceding resource that was inside here. We had all the budgeted work under one resource that was called budget work. So I need simply to delete that uh, resource. And we can go back and we see that we have 1134 hours, which is wrong. So I'm missing one resource. So I will go and check into the resources to see what I forgot. And among different departments, I see that I've forgotten the department marketing. So I will insert it here. So now we have that resource of type uh, budget, which is the marketing. And of course, I need to add some value to it. So for that, I go back to the resource usage. And I must see here my department marketing. And yes, I will need to add 364 hours. So now we are going back to the task, to the Gantt chart, and we are finding our 1498 hours, which is way more correct. To have the marketing department appear also in the budget group, I will add them here to the budget group. And now I'm ready to go into the resource usage view. We have here all the departments and now I can again start to view them by grouping. And for this, I select again resource group. And we see here we have opened the group budget and we see here that the resource budget work stays here for historical reasons if we want, but I could remove it. And we have now the group budget for all the budget, which are those 23,000 euros. We found those 1,500 hours of work with the 15,000 for the budget software, material, nothing for the moment, budget services, 8,000. And we find the budget for the Department of Finance, which is 150 hours the budget for the department marketing, which is 364 hours, the budget for department sales, which is 280 hours, and budget for department support, which is 217 hours, and budget department IT, 487 hours. Now, this is really detailed. Uh, we won't keep it li like that. Uh, I think when it's 150 hours, it's fine, 364. There, there could be 370 or even 400. 280, there could be 300. Because we are at the beginning of the project, at the proposition stage, 
and this is way too precise to be in a in a budget this corresponds to what i was requesting from the exercise so with this we have a clear overview on what is the investment part and what is the work part and we even have now the details department by department how many hours have to be worked into this project now you know more about budget you've been confronted into live the life of a project manager of how we prepare a budget and how MS project is going to to help us you liked it sum up share it with your friends make me comments let's have exchange and you can subscribe to the channel all what is left to me it's to wish you a really really good time hope to see you soon for other videos bye bye